Just one more thing about uh, Bet. The steam, no, the stem, the stem village did reappear. It, w it wasn't on the, the map supplied by the organisers, uh, but it was a, a sign above the micro bit stand and area. Um, for n pe people who've been listening to the Wild Show and this show, the We Don't Know Show, for a while, know that we've been g we've been going to bet. I think about three years now. Certainly before the lockdown phase, and we went last year. Uh, John doesn't always go. Chris doesn't always go. But we're, between us, we've been quite quite a bit. And at one point, th yeah. First of all, there was the STEM village: science, technology, engineering, and maths. Um, but at one point it became a steam village as well arts was introduced within that so the BBC was part of that area and back, back to back. somebody was doing awards for, for animation um, CGI or games I'll have, to, I'll have to remember I'll have to look up who that was um but the, the BBC provided a Dalek. The Dalek was in the middle of this STEM village, and you you could talk to the you couldn't talk to the Dalek, but the the BBC people were there explaining how art was making make, was relating to this STEM situation. But I'd, I'd, for whatever reason, it it didn't continue as such. And now, as I say, it was it was it was just the micro bit. Um, with this big site, it was mostly the microbit stand, and then above that it said STEM Village, but steam could be there, um, quite a long way away, They'd, well, across the, the Great Dividing Line, so going from north to south, I think, there was the BBC, so the BBC was sort of parallel, but quite a distance away, but they've got um, between them, they're still, so the, the BBC is, isn't allowed to do too much of a commercial nature well they can do news I think not not sure it's all it's all quite quite confusing um, I think uh, there is a project uh, which is based on primary schools which is also with the Office of National Statistics so there's there's going to be a lot of data gathering uh, the, the, the micro bit is so small you can fit fit on your wrist as a, as a sort of watch and the, the BBC are promoting it and I think have provided devices to quite a lot of primary schools, maybe not all of them but a, a high proportion and uh, there's going to be more about this over the, over the next well, some, sometime early this year but what I, what I thought I'd do is try and contact Tech Exeter because I know they they did get interested in in STEM. I don't think they ever got into STEAM, but they've got a they've got a breakfast meeting tomorrow, and so I'm gonna I'm going to quickly leave this studio and try and find it and find find out what they might be doing about arts. I think that's an adequate reason to leave, leave the studio and play, go back to the play-out system. So there'll be a little bit of the drama show sometime between 8 and 9, let's say, and another bit just before 10, but there'll be a, there'll be a gap in it tomorrow. Which the, So you'll record, if, you, if you're listening, that's, that's, what's, that's what's going on. And I'll, I'll report that next week on the um, We Don't Know show if I've got any better idea where 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 steam is, because the the, the other thing is the fifth the fifteen minute city. Um, I think there could just be a fifteen minute steam village, but I'll tell you how long it takes to get from here to the innovation hub. I don't, I don't think it'll take it take fifteen minutes. I'm it might by the, I, by the how long I'm going to spend there. So we'll see. We'll see how the drama show goes goes tomorrow.